Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with user profiles and user models. So user profiles are simply what's going to help users upload profile pictures so that over here in our chat app, instead of showing out all the static pictures, we're going to show pictures that, a, that users have uploaded as their profile picture or display pictures. Okay. And that's really going to be amazing. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. Don't make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing. And if you've got any issue, drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll be there to help you. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started. Started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just open up my code editor. My favorite is Visual Studio Code and um, from here I'm going to create a new app and this one we're going to call it User Authentication but I usually love calling it User Auth. Take notes, you can call it whatever you want, it's totally up to you but I don't know, all my projects I just stick with User Auth. It's, it's kind of cool to me i don't know for you so i'm just gonna say python manage.py then i'm gonna say start up and i'm just gonna say user auth so before we do anything i'm just gonna open up my settings.py and i'm gonna install it over there and you might be like okay how did i do that so what i did was just open up um hit ctrl g on my keyboard and search for settings.py well make sure you get rid of this colon or else it's you're not gonna get it okay so over here i need to install the app it's called user auth simple as that now, when that's done, we need to open up the user auth app. We need to come over to models and we need to create a couple of things. So uh, I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of this. Now I need to say, I need to say class and we're gonna call this one profile. So this class profile, firstly, I wanna get something and I'm just gonna say from Django the country the of the models. And I want, I simply wanna import user, okay? So we import user, but over here we seem we're just gonna say models dot models dot model. Okay, so hopefully you guys understand all this from the last video. Now we're gonna say user should be equal to models dot one to one field. So that's pretty much means that only one user is gonna have one profile, as simple as that. So one user is not gonna be able to have two profiles. But if you wanna create something like that's gonna enable one user have many profiles, then you're gonna put a foreign key there instead of a one-to-one -one field. And hopefully you guys understand what the models.cascade does now. And I'm just gonna pass in models.cascade. It's, it's self-explanatory, hopefully. Now we need to come over here and say full name. So full name, I could just pass in models.character field. And the character field takes in max length. And uh, let's just say max length of 100. Someone's name shouldn't be more than 100. And um, it should be compulsory, okay? So whenever a user wanna, yeah, the, the full name should be compulsory. So whenever a user wanna save the form without adding the full name, we're gonna throw an error. And also for the bio, we could just say bio, job title, whatever. We could also put in a char field and we could say the max length should also be 100. And what else do we need? Let's just say we need, um, a profile picture so i'm gonna say image instead of profile i'm just gonna say image and this should be models dot image field and we could just upload this to somewhere and in order to be more explicit with where we're where we uploading this to i'm gonna create a new function and i'm gonna call this one user directory path so i'm gonna say user underscore directory underscore path just like this and in here it's gonna take in instance and it's also gonna take in file name okay so it's taking in these two parameters now I need to do something. I need to return. So I'm just going to say return user like this. And you might be like, okay, what is going on? So I'm going to return user and I'm, gonna, I'm passing an O over there. And I'm going to say slash and I'm going to pass in a one over there. And over here, I'm just going to say dot formats. And we need to pass in instance dot user. And we are passing in instance of yeah, because we've got user over here. If there is no user, it's going to try an error. So that's supposed to be instance dot user dot ID, so it's gonna get the ID of the user, and it's also gonna get the file name. Okay, so what is this gonna do? Now, this is instead of just going ahead to spill all the images that we've uploaded into one single folder, it's gonna say, okay, the first user have an ID of one, then it's gonna say user underscore, it's gonna say user underscore one slash then maybe images.jpg so whatever image that this particular user is trying to upload we're going to put it in one folder for them okay so one user is going to have one folder that's whatever thing they are doing on platform is going to be going in there so that's why we wrote the simple function now instead of uploading the image to maybe a default folder as you guys know before we could do something like uploads to images but instead of doing this now 
you get the rights, we're simply going to upload to user directory parts, as simple as that. And um, the default, so by default, if a user doesn't have an image, we want to give them a default image, and that should be default.jpg. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in. I'm going to get an error. So I'm going to open up this over here, and um, I'm going to open up media, and we don't even have a default. That's bad. So I'm just going to open up one of my portfolio projects and um i've got a lot of over here i can open up the dj charts and i can open up the media and this is a default image right i could copy that come over here and okay this was this is what i'm trying to explain so as you can see this is something i've done from from the other videos and as you can see if you open this up now you see these are the images that that user have played around with if you open this up then this is my folder definitely as you can see my pictures are in here okay so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys understand what's going on now over here i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to call this one media I'm going to open up the media. I'm going to paste this picture and I called it default.jpg. So this default.jpg is pretty much what I called it over here. So um, we pass in the image. Is there any other thing that we could pass in? We could just say websites. So let's just say website should be models. Let's say URL field. Then um, we will give it default. Default should be www.websites.com slash whatever. Then we could just say Facebook. Let's say we want them to be able to get their Facebook. Uh, we could say Instagram, and we could say maybe Snapchat or Twitter, something like that. So we could say Twitter. Then instead of this www, I just want to pass in a HTTPS, or it's going to say passing a valid URL. So that's going to be an error for me. Column slash, this one is going to be facebook.com. This one is going to be website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much the fields that we've been needing. If we need something else, then we're going to just come over here and add it. Okay. So now let's go ahead and define an STR. So I'm going to say define underscore underscore STR underscore underscore. And I'm going to pass in self. So one thing that we could check is this. We could just say try. And I want to try to return. So I'm going to say return an F formatted string. And I'm going to say self dot full underscore name that's supposed to be full name and i return the full name i could also return self dot i just say user dot username and finally i could return the self dot let's say user dot email in case i want to log into the users um in case i want to log into the users account but not when we are on production okay when we are on production everything is supposed to be secured now except i'm gonna i'm simply gonna return self dot user dot username so what what the stuff that i did over here what does it mean as you all know we could simply do something like this and it's still gonna work perfectly well but now if a user have a, a full name already so if they have imputed their full name then instead of displaying just their username i want to display their full name their username and their and their email address that's if they've got all this information but by default a user is not going to have a full name right they're not gonna have um they're not gonna have a full name right yes so i just want to display just their username because they don't have a full name yet so um that's pretty much it guys if you want you can go ahead and work with the profile pictures okay let's just work with that i'm gonna override the save method and in here i'm just gonna pass in self and you can pass in ax and keyword arguments ax and quags just like this ax and quags and over here we could go ahead and, and pass in super then dot save just like this and in the save we're gonna pass in the ax and key ax and keywords arguments okay so when this is done now let's write a simple um a simple function that's gonna help us do that but before that i want to say from peel i want to import image simple as that that's from pillow import image so before you could that you want to make sure that you have pillow installed pip install django pillows and that's gonna work so down here i'm gonna say image should be equal to image which we imported at the top dot open and what do i want to open i want to open self dot image dot part okay so self dot image this image is pretty much this one that we've got over here then we'll get the part of the image simple as that now another thing we want to do is go ahead and check if the if the image dot height is greater than 300 pixels or image image dot width is greater than 300 pixels so that's all one if the height of the width is greater than 300 pixels i'm going to create a new variable and i'm going to call it output size output size and over here i'm just going to pass in 300 for the height 300 for the width 
take notes you could pass in whatever values you want in here but i'm gonna pass in 300 for the for the height 300 for the width let's say you want it to be 100 for the height 300 for the width it's totally up to you now we're going to use the output size variable thing that we created to do something so i'm going to say image dot thumbnail and what do i want to pass in i want to pass in the output size as simple as that and i need to go ahead and save the new image so i'm going to say image dot save and in here we simply need to go ahead, we need to pass in self dot image dot part as simple as that so that's pretty much it now we could go ahead and run the server and i'm going to make migrations hopefully that's going to work well without any errors that worked and i'm going to migrate so while that is working i'm going to come over to the chat prj i'm going to open up the no not the chat prj but the chat app i'm going to open up the admin and i want to grab this over here and come over to my admin and i'm just i'm just gonna paste this so instead of importing this messages thing i want to say from from user auth dot models i want to import um i called it profile right okay so instead of list display what i could say is full name um i could just pass in the username for now and um username i think that should be it let's just let's just keep it simple i'm gonna get rid of every other thing over here and list filter i'm just gonna get rid of this so the first one instead of messages admin why can't we just name this profile admin so i'm gonna say profile admin then i'm gonna copy this put it over here i've explained all this so that's why i'm not explaining it any longer so when we've done this now i'm gonna go ahead and run my server again and after running the server then we're gonna go ahead and open this up on our browser so i'm gonna come over to my browser over over here where is it where is it where is it where is it I'm gonna open this up and this is it so i'm gonna come over to the admin page refresh what do you notice now we got profiles okay so we can add a new profile for a user we can say username should be destiny full name should be destiny bio should be we just a software engineer the image i could choose whatever image i want um i could choose my image let me just open up my stock images and i'm, I'm just gonna choose this one that one looks pretty good and as you can see this one i've got all the default websites in so all you need to do is come over here and add in your handle that's fixed blah blah at the back and that's gonna be it so all i need to do is just save this now and that should save without any errors so you can see that's working so now if we come over to the chat prj open up the media what do you notice now we have user underscore one and our picture gets in there okay so um that's it now i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna add a new profile for karen this one is going to be Karen Doe, add in whatever you want. Let's say she's a graphics designer. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So we save this now. It's saved without adding a picture for her. That's because she now has a default picture, okay? So if I open this up now, you can see the default picture. That's it. Everything is working fine. Now, another thing I'd want to do is go ahead and work with Django signals. So that is, that's it now. As you can see, we can now create profile for users. But one more thing is missing. When we create a user, I'm going to come over here to user. And I want to add a new user and um, I could just go ahead and fill all this in. This is their username and I'm going to hit save. So now we have a new user, but when we come over to profile, they don't have a profile. So we don't want to manually create a profile for them. That's going to be tedious um, when we start scaling. So let's say we now have like 10,000 users on our platform. We don't want to go ahead and create a um, profile manually for all users we want to do that automatically whenever a user gets created okay and we're going to be using that and we're going to be doing that using django signals now django signals is really amazing and i'm going to be talking about it in the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new in the next one as i said we're going to be talking about django signals and you don't want to miss that one so make sure to drop a like consider subscribing and also turn on the bell notification so you don't miss the next video and until then my love peace out